Hello, this is uh, Zahra Ameli, a third year PhD student at the University of Maine. Uh, my advisor is Professor Eric Landis, and um, in this presentation, I'm going to talk about uh, surface crack detection using deep learning algorithms. So according to the Federal Highway Administration database, about 7% of US bridges are in poor and more than 48% uh, of them are in a fair condition. Uh, and um, as uh, National Bridge uh, Inspection Standard requires all bridge owners to perform regular inspections to extend the life and protect the safety of the uh, public. So one of the most uh, frequent type of the bridge inspection is a uh, routine bridge inspection, which is uh, usually done each um, uh, 40, 24 months. Um, one of the more uh, common type of sensors which is used in bridge inspection are visual sensors, which also we call it like uh, RGB sensors. This uh, type of sensor is used for um, defect detection uh, and also establish a basic knowledge of the structure condition, develop a 3D model of the structure and also uh, defect uh, location mapping. Uh, operational conditions such as incident angle, um, illumination, wind, and undesired contaminants in the air or background uh, might affect per performance of these uh, type of sensors. Uh, also, this uh, sensor is uh, unable to detect invisible subsurface cracks. Uh, so another type of sensor uh, which is called thermal or infrared sensors is usually used. Um, this sensor overcomes adverse environmental conditions such as dust and uh, vibration. Uh, also, it is able to detect invisible sub subsurface defects, uh, but it has its own uh, limitations. For example, blurred uh, details, uh, serious noise, and low resolution are um, some uh, limitations of this type of sensor. So this uh, limitation uh, encourage us to fuse infrared and uh, RGB images to a single image. And in this way, we can take the advantage of um, both these imagery um, uh, techniques. So in this study, we use a Fuller C5 camera, which is able to capture RGB and infrared images. And also it is able to combine these two set of images uh, to a single image um, is uh, used. Uh, we overall we captured 242 uh, RGB and combined images from um, different bridge structures uh, around Bangor, Maine. And then we use image lab um, online tool to annotate these images uh, um, because we need these annotated images to uh, fit them into our uh, machine learning algorithm. These figures he here show the um, RGB image, annotated uh, RGB image, and two sample of uh, combined uh, RGB and infrared and their uh, annotated um, uh, image. Uh, we use a mask uh, RCN um, algorithm, which in addition to classifying objects, it is able to um, give us a bonding box around the objects and also provide um, a segmentation, which uh, is a very useful for our purpose because if these segmentations are um, accurate, we can use them for uh, crack quantification. For example, um, measuring crack lengths and widths. So uh, we used a uh, mask RCN repository by uh, Matterport, which is a 3D virtual tour software company. Its backbone is a ResNet 50 architecture, 
and um, the data set class uh, is modified to suit our own correct database. Uh, we had um, two options for weights, um, for pre-trained pre weights, COCO and ImageNet, which, which we tried um, both of them and um, find out which one works better on our database. Uh, the code is written in Python 3 uh, programming language and the Keras and TensorFlow deep learning libraries are used. Um, and uh, <clears throat> we train the network using real life images of uh, crags. So the um, data set is, is split into 169 images for the training set and 73 images for the test set. Uh, we used a precision recall and map um, performance measuring metrics. Uh, and then uh, first we tried um, COCO, ImageNet, and without any weights. So we let the algorithm to find out the, the weights for each of uh, image set, RGB and combined images, and find out which um, pre-trained weights uh, works uh, better, uh, which here we choose uh, COCO, and then we continued with that one. Uh, and then we tried to find out, um, fine tune our algorithm um, and uh, decide how many um, epochs and um, what um, learning rate works better for our uh, purpose. And finally, we got the results. Uh, these uh, images show the original or um, annotated images and what we got from um, algorithm for four sample of uh, images. Two of them are RGB and two of them are uh, combined RGB and infrared images. We also uh, measured the loss for um, each of output layer classification and regression layers in the uh, RPN uh, box classification, box regression layers in the classification stage, and also the output layer of the mask branch. And we find out that uh, combined images has um, more loss compared to the RGB images for, for both of a uh, total loss and mask uh, loss. So what we learned from this study is that <clears throat> the experimental results showed us that uh, mask RCNN can successfully used for uh, visual inspection of uh, structures um, such as bridges with high accuracy. Uh, but um, map of the RGB and combined images are was um, 0.27 and 0.21 for respectively for RGB and combined images. So we got <clears throat> less accuracy for the infrared images com compared to the RGB images. Uh, this is uh, in contrast to what we expected because uh, it's supposed the combined images supposed to take advantage of both of imagery system. So the reason for that could be um, uh, could be we captured the infrared images during the winter time, which uh, we think there was not enough sun energy to um, uh, to create enough contrast in the infrared images. Uh, and also uh, we think that a number of uh, algo number of images which we fed into the our algorithm is very low. So we need more images to train our <clears throat> database, uh, our um, algorithm. Um, also, original mask RCNN is developed for COCO data set, which is very simple data set compared to the cracks. Uh, it is, um, uh, uh, this data set is um, car, um, cat, and simple um, objects, which is very uh, easy for 
and uh, machine learning algorithm to detect compared to the uh, cracks. Uh, also, we plan to you to try backbones with higher uh, capacities, for example, ResNet uh, 101. And also we try to capture more um, images from bridge structure. Uh, also, we plan to uh, perform multi-class defect detection and um, uh, also using some um, edge detection filters such as a uh, Sobel filter uh, might help to improve uh, performance of all our algorithm. Um, and also finally, we can use image processing techniques to measure size of the cracks. Thank you so much.